The client wanted to file the L1A extension early. The company was shrinking already. They just got here and they wanted to file it to get that extra two years. And we got them the full two years. Now they're at peace and they're able to execute their plans. They're able to get funding. Let me walk you through how we got this L1A extension, filing it early while the company is shrinking. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Joseph. I'm the managing partner here at Zan Associates where we solve legal problems with creative solutions. Most of the time, as a brand new company, you want to spend the entire year to build up the foundation of the company and prove at the end of your first year startup that the company has the basic needs and can sustain an executive managerial employee such as yourself. This company was doing well, but it was actually shrinking. This was a logistics company. Rent was extremely high, costs were extremely high, and so employees were being let go. That's not a good look. The initial L1A it looks great. You have so many employees, you got the one year, great, you come here. But then when you filed the L1 extension, it was half the size, that's not a good look. Revenue was shrinking, cost was going up. What are you doing? So in light of everything, the executive or client wanted to file the L1A extension early, try to secure the two years and have the full two years to kind of turn it around. So the first thing, because they were an import export company and they have a huge company overseas, they were able to very quickly transfer a lot of the revenue here into the US. So right when they incorporated, we were able to get almost $8 million in income. Profit, not so high. They were able to net like maybe $40,000 in profit, and then you minus out a lot of the deductions, they're not paying that much in taxes. So that doesn't look good. Four employees had to be let go. That's not a good look. Now, we were able to press them to get new employees. So four employees were let go, they were able to bring four other people on. So we structured the situation with the company as a organizational restructuring. And that is something that you see on the news, that's something that you see constantly, and it is true. It just you know, small executives don't think of it in terms of these business terms. If you just look at the fact that four people were let go, that looks really, really bad. But when you frame it as an organizational restructuring, because of the greater macroeconomics of the world with the rising cost, different departments have to be restructured. So as an executive, they had to do this restructuring letting go of four people, rehiring four, and pushing the company in a new direction. That's an executive decision. That is a the vision planning, and that is directly correlated with their job and their performance and the success of this company. Most people, when they think L1A extension, or they think any case for that matter, it's just like, what are the USCIS rules and guidelines? And then I just give the documents. And then if it's approved, that's great because we meet the guidelines. If it isn't approved, well, that's because the case sucks and USCIS uh, reviewed it and determined it accordingly. But that's not how we do cases. We strongly believe in coming up with a narrative. We spend so much time on the executive duties abroad because we want to paint the big picture of this is the size of the global scale. Don't focus on this tiny little bit that was imperfect. Look at how big this operation is and what he was doing beforehand. But now we get back to the US company. It's like 10, 11 people. How do we structure the organizational chart? Our client is on top. There's one manager. There is the head development manager right underneath that other person. And underneath that person listed six different departments, office manager, operations assistant, senior account manager, digital designer, bookkeeper, warehouse manager. And each person, their resume, their education, backs up why they could do that particular role and why they're good at doing that. And then underneath those six people, then th the people that actually deal with the clients. By doing it this way, we were able to argue, our client, the CEO, is not working on the company on day-to-day -day operations. His major role is to be able to navigate this complex macroeconomic space in this logistic company and be able to drive them to success. And that's why he makes the, made the call of, Firing four, hiring four, and this new vision. And so we were able to take everything, rework it, come up with this new storyline, new narrative, and then file it, and then got the two years. Now they have peace that they can press, and then eventually lead into the EB1C, which is their goal. Just wanna share how we expedited this L1A extension filing. It's super rare, most people never do it. But in this unique circumstances, they needed to, and that's how we did it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Take care, bye-bye.